two shows today. I just want to take a moment to thank all the venues that hosted me during these 93 days of the Canadian tour and beyond. The 93 days comprise about a quarter of the year, so it's been a, a heck of a year. Not much sightseeing on this last day. It's pouring rain here in Barrie, and then I have a show tonight in Aurelia. We're going to be singing the Monster Mash. Singing about Halloween here at the Coleman Care Center in Barrie. I have a frightening song now. tripod. Doing the best we can. This is called the Monster Mash. I was working in the lab late one night when my eyes beheld an eerie sight. My monster from his lab began to rise and suddenly, to my surprise, he did the mash. He did the monster mash. It went on in a flash. It's the monster mash. From my laboratory in Castle East to the master bedroom where the vampires feast, the ghouls all came from the hammer of bowls to get the joints. The scene was rock and all were digging the sounds. Igor on chains backed by his baying hounds. The coffin bangers were about to arrive with their vocal group. The kick kicker five to do the mash. Oh, we'll do the monster mash. It's a graveyard smash. It's the monster mash. Here's your part. One thing, he opened the lid and shook his fist and said, Whatever happened to my Transylvanian twist? <laughs> we'll just do the mash. We will just do the monster mash. It caught on in a flash. It's the monster mash. Now everything is cool, draft is part of the band. My monster mash is the hit to the land. For you, the living, this mash was meant to. When you get to my door, tell the boarders sent you to do the mash. We'll do the monster mash. It's cut on in a flash. It's the monster mash. Okay, let's sing it now. Well, I just finished my final show of the tour this year, 93 days on the road, and how fitting it is that in my audience for this last show of the tour is my music teacher, John Smith from John Diefenbaker Secondary School in Hanover, where I attended. Thank you for being in my audience. Okay, well, it's my pleasure once again. Um, so I got figuring, and I've known you for 44 years. 44 years. We started at JDSS the same day, but you were the student and I was the teacher. I didn't know you started on the same day as me. Yeah, I exactly. didn't know that. Wow. Yeah, yeah I, was, I was a newbie as well. And uh, anyway, now in those days... You're welcome. In I those will. days, Jim, you were 
Um, maybe about five to ninety-five pounds, long brown <laughs> curly hair, and uh, anyway, and you're up there in the back row of my class playing percussion. That's how I knew you. And you know, when you play percussion, um, you're kind of second in command in a music classroom because the the band director and the teacher is obviously you know kind of in charge, but really. Uh, the music teacher, the band director, and the percussionist are kind of the team that holds everything together. And you were a great musician then. I knew you were a man of many talents, and you've really demonstrated that over years, over the years. Um, I've heard your show a couple of times now, and I'm so impressed by the musical career that you've created for yourself, and I'm proud to be your friend. All I can say is thank you. That means a lot to me. Thank you so much, my friend. Okay. All right. Thank you, everybody. I hope you enjoyed following me on this tour. There's more to come.